Hello and welcome back to another video. And today we are continuing our series of old versus new. You know, recently we've done some stuff with like irons that are three, four, five years old, things like that. But today we're going the way back machine, aren't we, Mike? Before your time. Before my time, yeah, before I walk the, the earth. This is a Ping Zing Blondie Wood. It was one of the last uh, wooden clubs made from Ping. There was one afterwards. This is not persimmon. I know, Mike, we've kind of joked you've never hit a persimmon club before. That's right, yeah. Maybe we got something in store for you a little later on. Love it. But this is a laminate wood from Ping. What makes it unique is, it, for this club, it actually is graphite shafted. So, you know, head to head, 43 inches long, we're gonna be testing three wood versus three wood. And Mike, what do you think uh, setting that thing down? Yeah, I mean, it looks good. It's, uh, you know, like I said, I've never hit persimmon. I, I know we know this is laminate, but, um, you know, it, it's, this isn't as intimidating as what the driver would be, that's for sure. This is, this is a nice size, you know, three wood to three wood looks very similar, obviously a little bit taller, but the driver that I've seen uh, looks a little scary. <laughs> this, I think, you know, from a, a technology standpoint, there's not a lot going on. It was a wooden club head, hollow in the middle, but there is a base plate on the bottom to help lower the center of gravity. That was by design, you know, multi-material, wooden steel versus <laughs> wood, titanium, tungsten, all those different things. And we are gonna put this head to head against the modern G425 Max to see for performance and for a little fun, what we actually gain between these two golf clubs. So Mike, I'll let you take it away with that three wood. Okay. Get there. Nice little pop. Yeah. Now the interesting thing is, that was a pretty, we'll call it not a great miss, but it stayed in line. And I think that's the one thing that I would tend to see, like when I play with my old gear is, I don't necessarily miss as big as I did, or as I do with like modern equipment, just because you're only gonna get so much ball speed out of it when you miss it. Yeah. In that case, it's generally gonna go fairly straight. It rolled out there. Let's get one more. Come on. Oh, that was good. Nicely done. You should be a coach. You have a guru. You want to hit one more like that, Mike? Yep. All right. Yeah, delete everything else, leave that one. <laughs> That'll work. 220 carry. Hmm. Okay. Okay, RB, you have... Uh, more experience with the, uh, the wooden clubs than I do. Um, have you taken this out to play much? This is actually very new to me. I, I have some older clubs that I use that I'll take out, um, but I haven't really got a lot of time with this. You know, as a quote unquote traditionalist, all the ones that I normally play are steel shafted. So this is new to me, but I've been looking at it sitting in a bag for, I don't know, six months and I've been wanting to hit it. I thought it'd be kind of fun to bring out. So this is new to me too. Love it, let's see it. I just go back to the old cutty here, just get it out there. Good strike. It's a shot I would play with it, just kind of get it out there. Good strike, really good strike. Not a bad three wood. It's a good one to finish off on. Yeah, I mean, there were some bigger misses in there, but I'm curious to see like for ball speed and spin, like where we actually kind of get out of this thing because. Definitely. Compared to the new modern day stuff, I think obviously with the help of titanium and spincicity and all that, I mean, it's gonna be a lot easier and uh, more helpful than what that uh, laminate's offering. Let's get you up there and let's hit some new ones, Mike. Okay, Mike, looking down at the G425, would you say that's a little more confidence inspiring? I think the yes. face is probably half as shallow. Yeah, I, uh, I like this. Already, right out of the gate, <laughs> this just looks 
more what I'm used to. And I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the ping, ping zing felt good when you struck it really nicely. I just know with a little bit of technology that the miss heel to toe is going to be a lot more forgiving than, than what the old laminate would be. All right, let's see it. Right out of the gates. Well, there's our test. <laughs> yep. Put the wood clubs in the fire, kids. That's that shallower face, yeah. you know, spin consistency. Everything about that low, like, healer makes such a huge difference in this club, obviously, versus the, the older so one. So much easier. Ah, healer. I think you'd still rather take that miss, though, wouldn't you? Yeah. Let's get one more. Nice swing, Mike. Yeah, it's a lot, uh, a lot easier to hit this than the uh, the old laminate. All right, let's see what I get out of it really quickly here. Swing. That's better. Here we go. I would not have gotten away with the low heel like I did. Nope. On this, like with the wooden one, that's for sure. Great swing. The thing too is like, you feel like you can make a much more aggressive, confident swing with something like this because the fear of the miss exists like nowhere near like it does with like an older style golf club. Totally, I mean, I think with the help of technology too, where automatically in our mind, we know there's, there's a bunch of help behind it. Um, and like I said earlier, that ping is, it's cool to hit, but there's no help for that whatsoever. So. It's nice, to, it's nice to see that, obviously, the way technology's designed to do what it does, it, it's just so much more helping of the game, but just so much more confidence boosting, too. Yeah, I, I talk to people, like, people ask me, like, is it fun to play old clubs? Of course, like, it's fun. It's just a different way to experience it, right? Some people like to, to walk someplace. Some people like to ride a bike, right? You know, this is a case where it just, it's a, just a different way to experience playing the game of golf. And... Uh, yeah, some interesting numbers out of it. Let's, uh, let's take a look there. Definitely. So we've got my ping zing and your ping zing compared. Um, interesting. Uh, you know, one thing for me is not a lot of spin. Um, and, you know, we saw, you know, 217, 220 kind of carry, and it rolled out a bunch. I know off the, off the miss hit, we didn't get a ton of help, and, and it launched pretty low as well. My standard deviation is enormous when yeah. it comes to the spin, and I think... That's a big standout for people is like, you can still get a lot out of these golf clubs when you hit them well, but that fluctuation from high to low is so much more with something that's older that doesn't offer a lot of MOI, heel toe. We always think of heel to, heel toe MOI, but high and low on the club face is where you're gonna experience a lot of that variation in spin and in the zing we saw a ton of it. Yeah. Compare, uh, add the 425s in there. For me, a little bit more ball speed, which is nice. Um, you know, spin went up, carry went up. And for, you know, if I was a customer coming in and I had that, you know, wood <laughs> club still in my bag and you showed me that difference, obviously it's a significant, uh, significant improvement. And I would say, obviously, you know, same thing for you where, you know, standard deviation shrinks a little bit and we get a little bit more control over it. Yeah, I saw a total of 10 yards. Do you think 10 yards in 30 years is going to make a big, huge difference? Well, it can, Definitely. for sure. Um, and we're also talking like, over the course of a period of time. We eliminated some pretty bad shots from the woods that we hit. We'll be very upfront about that. Uh, but still, like, the variation is the biggest thing that mm -hmm. I think is it's kind of fun to compare it to. And uh, Mike, for one last surprise, we'll do long drive with my steel shafted. Jeez, here we go. Actual persimmon, which looks roughly the same size 
as the three wood we just hit. Love so it. Let's do, do you it. want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Go ahead. Fire away. All right. Let's see it. Persimmon driver, steel shafted. 10-5. Long drive. It's smaller than that three wood we just hit. That's crazy. You should just call it short drive. <laughs> Professional short driving contest. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to get much more out of it than that, Mike. Winner, winner right there. I'm hoping to find the hosel. Good swing. I mean, it feels and, so good. It's so much on fun. That one. I think I got one more. One more. I want to get one more out of this thing. Good swing. That's all I got, Mike. That's all I got in the tank with this thing. All right, Mike, that was everything I could possibly get out of this club that is, I want to say, like 65 years old, potentially. Crazy. Crazy. I mean, there were some really good strikes in there. Other than some, some maybe notoriously high launch and some crazy spin, you got to, you know, I didn't think you'd get more out of that than, than you did. I mean, you could go to a golf course and hit it 250 yards, no problem. So impressive to see that, you know, something 60-ish years old can, uh, can still hang around. I just, for me, if I do go out and play, I just move up a tee deck. Yeah. It's the biggest thing. Just have some fun. But uh, now it's your turn, Mike, the okay. club that's twice as old as you are. Let's do it. Persimmon, first time. It's smaller than the three wood we just hit. There's like no face. <laughs> if there's not a lot there. Okay, let's do it. I love the look of it. The color of it looks good. It's, uh, let's see if we can make contact. That sounded great. 14 degrees of launch. Tumble. Just like a three wood. <laughs> hey, you're not going to miss a lot of fairies hitting that shot. Nope. Keep going. Not going to win the long drive, though. <laughs> you know what's funny? It's a 10-5 driver, but it looks so hard to get airborne. Like, it looks intimidating. There's, I think it's just the size. Like, there's, there's not a lot of size to this thing. And I yeah. think... This is where, as we talked about earlier, when we go from like a big driver to like a smaller one, you just have the confidence to swing away. Totally. With this thing, like your swing speed slows down. You're just, you're trying to feel like you're hitting the middle versus I'll hit it somewhere on the face and we'll get it out there. It's yeah, really yeah. not the I same. I mean, thing. honestly, with the help of, you know, AI and twist face and stuff, like I'm a, I'm a, I'm pretty easy at hitting it off the heel. I mean, twist face has saved me since M3. And um, like I said earlier, there is, there is no help with this thing. I know you got one in you, Mike. The high tee is... You're a, brave, you're a brave man to try to hit that off high tee. I couldn't do it. I, I have no confidence trying to hit up on that thing. That's the one. Come on. Get going. It's a fairy finder, but it's not going anywhere. Well, safe to say, I'm glad I didn't buy a set of percentage. It's fun. It's, it's cool to hit, but there were either a lot of bad golfers back in the day or a lot of good players back in the day because uh, I'll stick with my uh, 460cc driver any day of the week. I, when, as I know I've talked about it many times. I like to play golf for performance, and I like to play golf for fun. This is definitely one of those times where I'm going out to have fun. I'm, yeah. I'm not so much worried about performance off the tee as I am really just kind of trying to hit shots and, and enjoy kind of hitting, the, playing the game a little differently, let's put it that way. Yeah. And uh, maybe, maybe we'll get out sometime, Mike. Maybe we, I I'll think, you, uh, you know, honestly, uh, you know, a short course, I know I got a course in mind that would be fun to play, uh, you know, play around with a set of persimmons, but I think once a year is good, <laughs> good enough. So with that in mind, again, old versus new. We love doing it. We like having a little fun, as you can tell. Mike and I have a lot of fun kind of putting these things together and, and bringing out some old gear, trying things that either we haven't really tried before. I know I never really hit one of these things on a launch monitor before. So if you have something in mind and you want to suggest it, please use the comment section below. We are always looking for suggestions to try old versus new, wood versus metal. We're talking completely different eras here. And uh, we're going to continue to do this because it's a lot of fun. We enjoy the comments from everybody. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.